Well, it's Gucci Oz G here. I have a nice little Tom Brady grenade. Hold this for me, baby. Bye, yo, touchdown. So, that's my opening route I like to use on the, what is this, WMD? And why is this guy breaking windows? What an asshole, the window inspector is coming for you. Kill him. And that guy was Usain Bolt, but that's alright. So, I have uh, WMD, Domination. I just played this game like maybe three days ago. I really have so much fun on Black Ops compared to MW3. MW3 is just complete shit right now. Especially since they just released those new patches. Yeah, 1.18 and 1.19. They should have just labeled it the game fucking patch. Because it just fucked the entire game over. They were like, oh yeah, let's uh, fix the spawns. And everybody agreed. They are like, yeah, our shitty spawns need to be fixed really bad. So then the developers, you know, they went on their way. And they were like, alright, let's, let's fix up this, this spawn system. And they are like, what can we do to make it better? And we're like, oh yeah, we'll just update the logic. So yeah, that, that sounds great and everything on paper. But they failed to use the right kind of logic. They used like an autistic child's logic. And they fucking made it worse. How, like seriously, I don't understand how you can just make spawn logic worse. If, like, like you guys probably don't know code. But I'm going to tell you a simple, a simple little if statement. You know, to solve every problem, yo. Ready for it? If person standing next to you don't fucking spawn there. They're fucking magic, right? Unbelievable. Like, is it really that hard to not spawn somebody behind another person? I just don't understand it. I just uploaded a video of me getting spawned behind and me spawning behind people. And it was just in the one game. Like, literally, I played maybe, I don't know, three matches in, in, in face-off when this shit, and this shit hell happened. And I was just like, you know what, I can't handle this game no more. So I turned it off. I just, that game is just poo-poo. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And then don't even get me started on this fucking shit detection. Because we all know how good the shit detection is in that game. I mean, you thought that, like, I don't know what's a good analogy for shit detection. I don't know, you thought 56k dial-up was bad? Like, god damn. You shoot somebody, like literally, I was hardscoping in a private match. Just to see how bad it was. Alright? He fucking strafe side to side, and I was hard scoping. I didn't even get a hit marker. How do you fucking miss a hard scope in in a private match? It's like what the fuck? Your log, your lag compensation really is that bad? I, I don't understand. Like why put lag compensation in the game? If you have shitty internet, fuck it. That's your fault. You got bad internet. You're gonna get shit on in video games. That shouldn't be a good internet host problem. Like. Oh yeah, I have Verizon Fios, and I pay for fucking 50 down and 10 up, but I'm gonna fucking get the same internet connection as Taco Bell. It's awesome. But yeah, I'm just ranting right now, because I'm really just pissed off at that game. But I mean, it could have been a good game. And we I was talking about this with my friends earlier. Modern Warfare 3 could have been a great game. You know, it had all the potential there, you know? New guns, new maps new ideas and kill streaks everything was going good you know but then you decide to let fucking retarded parents buy it for their 10 year old child who's a fucking dick you know the ones i'm talking about you know those asshole kids the ones with fucking xx legit scopes xx circle triangle in their name and then they fucking have the the qs as their clan tag but then those little cunts all walk around fucking rapid fire and silencers and what's the fucking assassin and shit it's fucking pathetic but all right i'm gonna try and stop ranting that was my little rant for the day now i'm gonna i guess i'll talk about this gameplay and what i hope black ops 2 will have i don't know fuck it there's no agenda i'm doing this live so i mean this is my wmd gameplay it was pretty beastly i i mean i haven't played a, uh, a lot of black ops lately but this happened to be like one of the games like if you're really trying to get a gameplay right now just go on black ops because everybody who's playing black ops is fucking trash i just really like every time i play a game recently i just steamroll everything i don't understand why if it's just like a lot of bad kids are playing it 
or if I'm just better at that game than I am on Modern Warfare 3, or all the fucking dicks are on Modern Warfare 3, I don't know, we'll see. I really can't explain it. And, yeah, red bar. My connection has been pretty terrible lately. I don't know why. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. I'm still a beast, even if I have bad internet connection. And, um... So yeah, I was thinking when Black Ops 2 comes out, I might just be a le a, like a leaderboard type person. Because in the past games, my Black Ops and Modern Warfare 3, I, I really cared about my win-loss. Like that was my main thing. I, care, I, I didn't care too much about my, my kill-death ratio because that doesn't mean shit. I mean, you can have an amazing KD but have like a .1 win-loss. That just means that you like to hide and camp and then you fucking back out if you're getting your shit pushed in. You know what I mean? But I think for Black Ops 2, I'm gonna go back to my roots and just play Search and Destroy. Because seriously, Search is the greatest game type. I mean, sure, I can hear you guys making a counter argument to having fags camping in their spawn, you know. But honestly, would you rather have a dick camping in their spawn where you know they're at? Or being, uh on a nice little kill streak and they have some douchebag spawn behind you because of quote unquote better spawn logic yeah no I think I'll, I think I'll enjoy my uh, my search and destroy knowing where they spawn at off the start but yeah in black ops man I used to play search and destroy like it was my fucking religion I, I did that all the time that was my go to thing like don't get me wrong I, I love myself some domination and some uh some capture the flag, but uh, nothing beats search, in my opinion. It's just, you know, a lot less people play search, I think, only because you have to think when you play it and you only get one life. And people love their kill streaks, you know, camping in corners and getting kill streaks. You know, there's always those type of kids, but I don't know. That's just my opinion. I hopefully Black Ops, uh, like, I seen, uh, like, Gamescom is going on this week and. I saw the a search and destroy game between the pros on Black Ops 2 and you know it looks promising and I'm a rusher anyways so I don't know I think it'll be a fun game to play search and destroy only I figure you know I'll, I'll still put in some gameplay of me uh, doing like other game modes but I think I'm gonna start doing a majority of search and destroy because I find that the most entertaining anyways. Well, not not the most entertaining in a sense of a viewing point, but for playing. I like playing it a lot more. Like, oh, and watch this part right here. I cannot believe this shit. Fucking knife. He fell into last stand and knifed me. You don't understand how pissed off that is. Uh, I swear to God, if that shit's in Black Ops 2, I'm turning it back in. As soon as I get it, I'm going to play the, play the game in. I'm gonna get spawn them check the perks in the in the land list and it's gonna say last down. I'm taking that shit back and I'm gonna throw it at the fucking GameStop employee. I'm gonna be like, bitch, take this shit back. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this game play uh 53 and 8 on a two bar swag. Oh now it's three bar, two bar. Whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm out. Peace.